I think you'd have a hard time to come across a more a warm, family-like partnership between two companies, and that's NVIDIA and Audi. Uh, we've been at this for a good part of about 10 years, and uh, we have really been hand-in-hand -hand shaping the future of uh, the automotive industry. If you look at the Google Earth that we introduced together back in 2010, if you look at virtual cockpit and what we achieved there, and of course, both of our companies are very interested in automated piloted driving. This car has a very, uh, very special set of sensors and a camera, and it's utilizing the NVIDIA hardware inside, as well as artificial intelligence and so it is actually learning the course as it's going and with that knowledge it is able to actually drive autonomously around. And then uh, halfway throughout the demo there is an obstacle that is brought into it. It recognizes there is now a, an obstacle and it drives around it in a different kind of course. All of that again is done by the vehicle itself and it just shows how powerful this technology could be in the real world. Artificial intelligence is absolutely crucial in achieving the next generations of autonomous driving. That's for two reasons. Number one, it's much safer. And number two, it will allow us to get there a lot quicker because we have this data and we have the robust experience of all these different cars out there that will enable us to have this technology a lot quicker than we would otherwise have. We have announced that we will be doing the uh, ZFAS in the next generation A8, which will be uh, coming to the global market this year in 2017. To the US market, it will come in early 2018. And then of course, the next big step for us is that we will have the artificial intelligence with level four automation available in the marketplace by 2020. If you look at our partnership and what we've achieved over the years, it's been absolutely exemplary. And now I think it's really, really exciting to look at the new frontier that we are embarking on together, and that is, of course, autonomous driving.